Okay, so we've talked about meteorite impacts. Um, when you get an impact, this is the simulated one that NASA did, you see a lot of stuff is blown out at very high speeds. And you can see evidence for it. Here's a probably a fairly recent crater impact on Mars, and you can see something has been blown out in yeah, all directions. Yeah, this, this, this is debris obviously blown out from this crater. Now, on Earth, I guess, if it hit the Earth, it wouldn't really go that far, right? That's right. I mean, it's a, a really big one might blow stuff out of the atmosphere, but normally the debris is going to be trapped by the atmosphere and not flow that far away. But on something without an atmosphere like the Moon, you can see a number of the craters which have rays extending out from enormous distances. Yeah, in particular these big ones. I mean, this goes all the way here, but I mean, this is, you know, a, a, a quarter of the Moon almost in terms of how far away it is. That's right. And this turns out to be very useful. The real thing that is going to give us a very important clue uh, if you take samples almost anywhere on the moon, so let's say you are here, the Sea of Tranquility, speaking hypothetically. Just, I wonder why. <laughs> um, you can get samples of the local rock, but when you take a sample from somewhere like this, especially a sample of this dust that's all over the surface of the moon, a lot of these grains are grains that actually came out of impacts a very long way away. So you're actually able to then sample multiple areas of the moon in one yes. scoop. Now there's only a small number of areas of the moon that have actually been sampled. Yep. Uh, the, the six Apollo plus various lunar, other lunar rovers plus a few meteorites that got blown off the moon which we don't know where they came from. But let's say you're here or here or here, you're going to get the local rock but you're also going to get rock blown out from here and blown out from there and blown out from there. So uh, because uh, impact here is going to blow things almost into orbit around the moon. Yep. Some of the grains from here might make it all the way around and land on the, even on the far side. So you can really be a large distance away and still measure grains from that impact and a few others. This is actually where a lot of the like soil, the dust on the moon comes from. It's just the remains of huge numbers of impacts, many very distant, that have blown stuff around and it's piled up this general So it kind of stuff. keeps piling up layers upon layers of these impacts. On Earth, your soil is caused by chemical erosion and wind, but neither of those happen on the moon. Yep. So it actually, it's, it's, we almost think, call it gardening by meteorites. <laughs> the meteorites are digging up the surface and throwing stuff around and mixing it all up. And so uh, you can take a sample from anywhere on the moon and that will contain grains from hundreds of different meteorite impacts. And that's going to be very crucial. But to understand the clue we get from this, we're going to need to have some way of taking a tiny little grain of moon dust and working out its age, how long it had happened since it was blown out of the surface. Now, as you remember, we talked about that in uh, great length when trying to work out the age of the solar system. That's right. Uh, or about uranium isotopes and the ratios of these things. And we had the, uh, the visit to uh, Trevor Island's lab. So we're going to have to use all that to try and interpret the clues from the moon rocks. Now to understand what's really going on here, we have to have some way of dating these yes. tiny grains. So if you have a tiny grain, it'd be nice to know how long it's been since it was blown out. That's right. And as we'll see in the next few videos, it's actually something you can work out. You can take these things, these tiny grains, and put them in the lab and look at the ratios of various isotopes within them. And that will actually tell you um, how long it was since that explosion.